We've unearthed millions of fossils around the world, so with all this evidence, so to speak, it's clear that the fossil record proves evolution, right? Well, actually, no. Didn't when Darwin was alive, and hasn't since he's been gone. In fact, Chuck E. D. himself knew this when he wrote the following. Geology assuredly does not reveal any such finely graduated organic chain. And this, perhaps, is the most obvious and gravest objection which can be urged against my theory. The explanation lies, as I believe, in the extreme imperfection of the geological record. Okay, but surely after all the time since Darwin, digging and discovering fossil after fossil, we have a more perfect geological record that supports evolution, right? Not even close, bud. Listen to how two renowned evolutionary biologists summarize the truth. Instead of finding the slow, smooth, and progressive changes, they saw in the fossil record rapid bursts of change, new species appearing seemingly out of nowhere and then remaining unchanged for millions of years, patterns hauntingly reminiscent of creation. The fossil record doesn't show gradual change, and every paleontologist has known that ever since Cuvier, or however you pronounce that. Okay, I could go on and on, but there's always going to be opposing views because on both sides of the debate, the same evidence is interpreted through different worldviews. You gotta remember that, people. Facts don't say anything. People say things based on their interpretation of facts influenced by their worldview. But that's a whole other subject, and I don't want to get into it right now. Instead, hey, let's have a little fun and take a look at some popular secular articles and charts on the fossil record and see if we can learn to separate facts from interpretation of facts by asking a few simple questions. Question one, did the artiste take any artistic license with what I'm looking at here? Check this out because this happens all the time. Look, isn't that sweet? So cute and fluffy. Okay, why do you think the artist made these creatures appear more human-like by throwing in an affectionate smile and depicting them hanging out like a human family going to a picnic or something? Why did he draw them walking upright? Why make the shapes and colors of their eyes more human than ape? Is any of it based on actual fossil evidence? Of course not. But if you want the story of evolution to appear more convincing, you just might fill in missing gaps with your presuppositional imagination. Just saying. <laughs> Question two. Is the attention-grabbing headline or title supported by actual facts? For instance, take a look at this popular book called Why Evolution is True. We don't even have to go any further than the jacket on this one because on it you got a dino evolving into a bird in three simple steps. There you go. But then on the inside, this is written, and I kid you not. The jacket depicts a chronological sequence of fossils showing the evolution of birds. We do not know whether the actual line of descent included, now wait for it, the first three. Say what now? Doesn't that mean these three shouldn't be on the cover then? Which means all you got is a modern bird, right? No evolution, just a bird. Talk about worldview filling in gaps. On to question three. What do the graphics on evolutionary charts indicate? I mean, they sure do look convincing. For instance, on this one from the dinosaur book, you got solid red columns and white columns showing gradual progression over time. But let's read the almost imperceptible two-point font over here. It reads, tinted areas indicate solid fossil evidence, which means the white areas represent no solid fossil evidence, right? Okay, then take them away. Uh-oh, looks like patterns hauntingly reminiscent of creation, I'd say, right from their own charts. And the same thing goes for the dotted lines on this one. Look at all of them. Just so we're clear, dotted lines indicate zero evidence. Remove them and what do you get? No transitional forms or evidence of gradual progression. A bat is a bat, a kangaroo is a kangaroo, and a horse is a horse. Of course, of course, unless of course the horse is Mr. Ed. Look, people, all I'm saying here is if you got facts, put them in there. If you don't, leave them out. But don't draw downright dubious daft, dare I declare, dunderheaded dotted lines of deliberate deception dogmatically and dastardly doodle to disguise definitive data. No. Just admit what you actually see, overwhelming evidence of living things, according to their kinds, suddenly appearing, which, as a reminder, is exactly what the Bible teaches. Now, I don't even have time to get into TV, movies, and documentaries. All I ask is that you use the same line of questioning when you watch them. And in summary, we agree with Mr. D. Geology assuredly does not reveal any such finely graduated organic chain. Not then, not now, not ever. And that means the whole idea that the fossil record proves evolution has been debunked. Adios.